Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have been given three different shapes. And now we have been asked how many triangles are in each of these shapes. I will go over all these scenarios one at a time. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first scenario. In this case, we have four slanting lines. That means they are going from up top to bottom, okay? They're up and down, and there's a one horizontal line as you can see over here. And now we wanna find how many triangles are in this figure. Let me just give you an easy way. First, this triangle I'm gonna call number one, this one I'm going to call two, this one three. Let's go ahead and just put a plus sign in between. One plus two plus three is going to be six. That means we are going to have a six different triangles in this figure. And here's the visual representation of all these triangles possible in this given shape. As you can see, this is number one, number two, number three individual triangles and then two of a kind so this is going to be number four this is going to be number five and this is the whole big one so that is going to be number six so thus there are six triangles in this shape and here in this scenario we have four slanting lines and two horizontal lines as you can see one two three four slanting lines and then we have one and two horizontal lines now let me go ahead and give you a really easy way once again to find the number of possible triangles in this shape let's do exactly the same way we did in previous case let's count how many triangles are this one one two, three. Don't worry about these ones. Just count these are vertically. One, two, and three. Let's count them as we did last time. We just add them up, okay? So one plus two plus three is going to give us six. So far, so good. And now the next thing is, let's look at how many horizontal lines are there. We have a two horizontal lines. We are going to go ahead and multiply this number by two, two times six is 12. So thus there are 12 triangles in this given shape. And here is our third and final scenario. We have, in this case, we have a four slanting lines and three horizontal. That means these are one, two, three, four are our slanting lines and we have a one, two, and three horizontal lines, as you can see. And once again, let me go ahead and show you a super easy way to find the number of possible triangles in this given shape. Once again, we're gonna repeat the same process that we did in very first scenario. Let's put down one, two, three. Let's put a plus sign in between one plus two plus three is going to be six so far so good and now let's count how many horizontal lines are there are three horizontal lines one two and three so therefore we are going to multiply this number six by three since we have a three horizontal lines so three times six is going to be 18 and here is our visual representation of this shape and we can see that there are 18 different possible triangles for this given shape so thus there are 18 triangles possible in this shape thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye